Jasper's Patricia Lake doesn't come to mind for most of us when we think about World War II, yet this was the site for one of the strangest top secret projects conducted by the Allies during the war. They decided that they would try this uh, prototype of this ice boat in a remote cold lake and Patricia Lake and Jasper National Park fit the bill. They used members of conscientious objectors camps who were um, in the park at the time. They didn't know that they were working on this project. It was all top secret. The town didn't know what was going on. They built a kind of a boathouse structure over it to protect the ice boat from the elements, which acted kind of as a disguise for the whole top secret project. People who come to visit the museum will reach the section of, of the gallery and be amazed at the things that went on during wartime in Jasper. Despite the potential of this floating aircraft carrier, the project was never completed. Today, divers can explore what remains of the Habakkuk structure. Can't wait to uh, get down there and see what it looks like. And uh, you know, despite the water being 52 degrees, it feels nice and warm in this dry suit. <laughs> We saw an opportunity uh, with Nathan's passion being diving. We saw an opportunity there to maybe pursue this and, and offer something new and unique to visitors coming to the National Park. OK, so just one more thing before we head down, guys. Uh, this wreck is almost 80 years old. Uh, it was built out of wood, so it is very, very sensitive. So please try to avoid touching absolutely everything down there as it may shift it and damage it. There are divers that come, you know, from far away to come and, and, and dive the site, but for people that really don't know a whole lot about the site and just kind of show up here and go, oh, wow, that's pretty, pretty interesting thing. There was never any accessibility for these people, and now there is, so it's a pretty neat site. Um, and uh, it's not tech diving, it's not super hard, it's not super difficult if you get certified. It's well within most people's comfort zone to go down and see it, and it's a pretty, pretty neat site to go look at. This historic site is now protected by the national parks, but the staff at the Pyramid Lake Bungalow would be more than happy to guide you on a dive.